Thanks so much, Rick. Hey, we are outside, and who knew how excited we could get about a hearse that's pulling up now? <laughs> Come on, hearse, because coming out of this thing... Wait, wait, they're coming to get me. <laughs> no, it, this is not a is not comment on your Swing low, for anyone. sweet like chariot. Who our guests are. <laughs> Come over here. Who's oh, this? Hello. Hello, guys. Hi there. You They're very much alive, these hey, men. Guys. <laughs> wait, wait. Hey, nice to see you guys. <laughs> these people you know normally people don't get out of purses like this yeah usually it's uh, horizontal but uh but you guys are all coming to join us because you are the men of mortuary i've already broken open the seal and i have them all here i'll let these who girls knew, do this one who knew funeral homes to be this hot now wait a second are you guys all undertakers we are yeah you are we are this and how did you guys all get together to make this calendar? Well, it actually started out as a contest. Um, we were well, wanting to put together 12 attractive funeral directors and put a calendar together, and the money's given to women that are going through breast cancer treatment. Oh, wow. Like now, are you time. Kenneth McKenzie? I am. Cool. Okay, cool. So how did you get all of these guys together? Just did a contest in a trade magazine, and like a funeral trade magazine, and put an ad out there, and got 300 responses. We're looking for 12 attractive funeral directors, which is really the hardest thing. Yeah. <laughs> how hard? Was that? Are these the only 12 attractive funeral directors in the country? Come here, man. From what I could find. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. Look at his biceps. I know you must not have a lot of dead people in your town because you have a lot of time to work out. No, Don't take this, from the biceps. This guy could carry the coffin by himself. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Remsen, Iowa. Yeah, and uh, how did you get into this business? How did I get? I'm a third generation funeral director, so my grandfather started the business. My my father took over. Now I'm in the process of and taking. And that's probably the case with a lot of you guys, right? It's a family business. Yeah. Quite the majority. Yeah. So do you guys watch the show Six Feet Under? Is it a realistic portrayal yeah. of what goes on? It's pretty accurate. Really. Yeah. yeah. And you guys work out every day, right? Every in day. addition to your duties as uh, morticians. In all fairness, no. In, in, I live in Long Beach, California. We do probably 100 funerals a month. He does 100 funerals a year. So you can see why he would have a bit bigger. Wow. Exactly. Gotcha. That makes point. a lot of sense. So you guys aren't just good looking and buff uh, and posing in your calendar. You're actually doing it for a good cause. We're so doing explain it for a cause. that. It's a foundation called Cam Cares. I named it after my sister. And it, it's a one time grant that we give to women that are going through breast cancer treatment. So if a woman has a uh, washer or dryer that breaks, she can use it for that. Or if she needs money for food, they can use it that way. All right. So what do you think about being a, a sexy mortician? <laughs> It's kind of flattering, actually, but, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> That's All right, very let me ask cool. you guys one thing. Can I borrow that for a yeah. second? What is the one thing about working at a funeral home that people may not think of? What's what's something strange that, that we wouldn't know that goes on behind the scenes? Yeah, well, don't get too weird, but, you know, something, something. <laughs> Oh, he's at a lost for words. <laughs> yeah, a little lost for words here. All right, come on, come on, come on. Wait, 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 uh, one thing that I think is uh, we have a lot of fun, but it's serious, but we're, you have to have fun in that business. You absolutely have to have a great sense of humor in this business because it's so emotional. You're dealing with people's emotions all the time, and um, you have to have a great sense of humor to get past that or you'd go nuts. All right, so Any, how anything else? Their hands on this <laughs> you go to the website at www. Um, men of, men of, of, <laughs> men of mortuary. Sorry. It's for a good cause. You guys, thanks for joining oh, us. Thank you. Anyway, while they keep bench pressing more coffins, we're going to come back with more news. Uh, just ahead, we're continuing to keep an eye on Korea, where shots were fired across the DMZ. The math problems that can help you solve your everyday problems. The pluses and minuses of calling in sick for work. And Jessica Simpson tells Bill. McC